Hello and welcome to another IC3D tutorial. My name is Adam Chop, and today we'll be taking you through how to create this simple folded envelope and we'll also be creating a small plastic shield for the front and then we're going to go ahead and animate this guy unfolding. All right, so first things first, for specifically things in Carton fold up tool, what we're going to want to look at is the die line inside of either Illustrator, PDF, or just really a editor that we can pull lines out of and save things as we would like. So the first thing we have, I've got my die line here. And what I've gone ahead and done is I've got the red as the outer cut line and also a red as the uh, inner window cut line. And then I've got another color and that's just gonna be a blue. And both of these are gonna be able to be kind of called out once we import them in. So first things first, uh, oh, also I already, uh, I already have a little poly window as well. So we wanna have everything ready to go and either saved as AI documents with PDF editing capabilities. Uh, so here, let me just show you that really quick. So you save this here and instead of AI, you can go right over to PDF or saving it as an AI and then uh, just sit, making sure that this next window, let me just show you really quick, that should pop up right here. It is the create PDF compatible file that needs to be checked if you want to use a uh, .ai to import into our carton fold up. But uh, since I already have everything ready, I've actually exported these out as uh, just .ai files. And uh, we're going to go ahead and bring them into IC3D. So now that we're back in IC3D, we're going to go ahead and scroll down to our template library. And we're going to open up our carton fold up tool. This tool will handle anything carton, anything folding. Um, so again, really, really cool tool to, uh, to use. So first things first, we're going to want to bring in a template and start working with it. So we're going to import our die line in the bottom left. And I'm going to start with our normal die line, and then we'll do the poly window making sure that we do have our layer selected. So this is really nice if you have uh, multiple lines and multiple die lines in uh, one AI file. So you can have everything in uh, separated layers, but if not, it's again, just easier, uh, at least for me, just to export two files and then bring them together inside of IC3D. So here we are, uh, we've got cut lines and we've got our fold lines. Our cut lines, again, are gonna be that uh, pink red and our fold will be the blue. Once we hit assign, as you can see, everything should actually come in correctly assigned. So all we need to do is split these lines up. That's in the top right. Split lines is done. If I select again, as you can see, everything's been cut up for us. Now with this die line, it's extremely simple to uh, kind of see where our folds and our cut should be. But just so uh, for anyone following along, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these four folds one more time and I'm holding the shift key while grabbing these and I'm just going to assign them as my purple fold. And again, you don't really need to do that if you've already assigned them uh, previously. Just wanted to show you uh, how you would go about doing it. So from here, once our outer blue cut line is assigned, so as you can see, our outer blue and the inner will be green. Those are cut lines what we can do is we can pick our substrate. So I've already got a uh, semi-flat 500 ohm uh, D-flute white substrate that I'll uh, go ahead and just hit generate and check out. And actually this is pretty good. Now uh, if we wanted a custom fluting style or anything like that, now since I am doing a paper, I'm going to go ahead and add just a uh, paper color on the corners here. And instead of having that white card, I'm just going to do side material is same as back. So that's going to make sure that the brown card is along both. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. That's going to save over my D flute. And as I can see now, that's got that nice brown ridge. And then we click and make this our front face. So this is quite important, especially when you're animating. So what this will do is selecting a face and making it the front face will make that the uh, basically the anchor of the model. So when we move folds, when we 
fold things, move things, it's going to move by this front face. And that's very important for animation. Now from here, it is super simple to fold this guy up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go by these two and I'm just going to hit 90. And as you can see, that's going to start to fold them up. So from here, all we have to do is just continue to fold these past 90. Um, and actually what you could do if uh, you wanted to do this quickly is just grab all the folds. So we could select these, go into the fold angle, or if we know all of our folds are at 180, we can just do control F and that's gonna select all four of our folds at once. From here, we can go up to our fold angle and just punch in 180. And as you can see, this has been folded up and is ready to go. So from there, all we need to do is add this to the scene. And from here, what we're gonna have to do next is add our little die line window. So let's go ahead and grab that carton fold up tool once again, drag it onto the scene and import in our poly window. I'm gonna hit open here and this is our layer one. And since this is has no cuts, no folds, just a single piece of a uh, little piece of plastic. So we're just going to go ahead and split the lines. We're going to have to split the lines no matter what, no matter what model we're using. And then once that's all done, we hit generate model. That's yes. And perfect. I'm going to go ahead and ignore my substrate. We could create a plastic substrate for this, but it's pretty easy to add that to the scene grab our substrate here, grab our uh, little card, and I'm just gonna go into our material library, head over to our plastics category. And today I think I'm gonna be using the clear plastic bag. Now, one thing about cartons is they're gonna be three separate materials, that side, that back, and that front. So if we wanna assign all three of these by dragging it on, we would have to drag it on to the front drag it onto the pack and then drag it onto the side. Or we can, uh, since we know that we want one material for everything in this group, we can go ahead and just grab the whole group in our object editor, select our clear plastic bag, and then hit this little icon on the right and that's just going to apply the material. And as you can see, that has applied the material to every part of the model. And now it is a clear plastic window. Now from here, we're going to adjust this window into place. So uh, just by using our transform and a quick tip as well as while you're in the transform tool, if you use your right click, uh, so just your right mouse, you're able to then rotate the camera. This makes things much easier for aligning, positioning, and just making everything a little simpler. And like this, I'm actually holding a right click and zooming with my scroll wheel. So a lot of little tricks that you can pull. And what we wanna do here is just ever so slightly underneath that guy there. What we're gonna wanna focus in on next is uh, animating. Now from here, what we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and prep up for animation. The first thing is obviously we're going to want to open our animation window. And before all of this as well, let's go ahead and just save our scene just to make sure everything is good. So we're going to save this inside and I'm just going to create an envelope. Spell. There we go. So from here, what we're going to want to do is once inside the animation window, so the first thing first is going to go ahead and click our keyframe animation mode. So that's going to go ahead and turn on keyframing. Now from here, we're going to want a starting position for both our poly window and our actual envelope. So what we want to do from here is grab our, uh, let's start with the envelope, and we're going to want to keyframe in and that's going to be, uh, if we scrub over to this guy here, we just go ahead and select it. <clears throat> oh, apologies. So what we're going to want to do is select our model first, and then we can go over to the plus keyframe, and we're going to add a transform and a rotation. So add that in, and then go down to the second carton and add that in as well. This is our starting position. 
So no matter where we go, if we go back to zero, this is what it's going to look like. So our ending position, let's go ahead and unfold our envelope. Very simple. So the end position is going to say around 30. And we're going to go ahead and select our carton envelope or our carton template. Go on over to our carton options. So again, since we don't have too many folds, this should be pretty easy. And actually, since we're at the end keyframe, I'm just going to hit zero across the board. And from there, that should open up our carton. Now, what we want to look at now is let's turn off the animation and let's take a look at how we animated things. So we're starting again at zero. So I'm just going to start there. And then if I hit that play button, that's going to open up things quite nicely. So now, of course, what if I look at the back? How does this look? As you can see there, we've got some clipping. So I'm not a big fan of clipping like this. So what I'm going to want to do here is just go ahead and uh, take our, so we want this back flap to open first, followed by this next one, and then the corners. So let's go ahead and fix that really quick by turning on our animation. And what we can do is just scroll over to around 10. And I'm going to start the side panels around 10. So to do that, we're going to hold Alt, click on the panel. No, I'm, I apologize, Control click. And that's going to be right there. So that's going to select our flap. And we're just going to set this back down to zero. What that's going to do is, oh, well, in this case, not zero. We want 180, so the opposite of zero. And what this is going to do is instead of starting the fold at zero and then going up to 30, this is going to start unfolding that corner flap at 10. So then as you can see there, we don't have any interference with that top and bottom panel. So we're just gonna do that the exact same thing with the other side, holding control, clicking, and then just setting to 180. From there, just go ahead and turn off animation scrub back to the beginning, and let's go ahead and take a look at how we did. That looks fantastic. So in that case, we can put any kind of information inside of uh, our envelope here. We can make it come out, unfold, and do whatever we'd like. But for today, I just wanted to show you how to create this quick envelope and just a little bit about the carton editor and animation. So I hope you guys have enjoyed and stay tuned for more as uh, again, my name's Adam Chomp. Take care.